Hey guys! Welcome back to the Toy Note Studio with me, Kelsey. Today I'm playing with a collectible set, much like Shopkins, the Grocery Gang, and anything else you can think of. This is some of those little mini critters, and they're called Squinky Doo Drops. And this is a collector pack from them. I'm going to have two mystery Squinky Doos in here, and I'm pretty excited to see what this set has to offer. These seem to be more animal and plant-based. Um, there's like a Moo La La, Waddleton, who's a penguin, by the way. Um, Olive Eight, who's an octopus. Baleen Bell, which is a whale. So there's some really cute little characters with the cute names, much like the other collectibles I mentioned. So let's go ahead and get these guys opened. But first, come on in for a closer look. All right, so we have the Squinky Dewdrops Collector Pack. There's going to be 12 Squinkies in here. There's thousands available, and we are going to have two hidden ones down here, so that's pretty exciting. The bag does have a list of possible Squinkies. <laughs> I love this. The World of Squinkyville. So they're kind of cute. There's also um, like a little color code here to tell you if you have common ones, rare, ultra rare, or part of a play set. So opening should be easy. It's already kind of come apart from the cardboard backing. Wow. Okay, now I'm gonna keep this off to the side so I can kind of keep track of what I have, but it also seems to have one inside, which I like a lot when they come with the collector's guides because it does help you identify all the different names and see what is available. So there's a good amount of these. And that's not all. There's tons of them. So good, I'm gonna keep this off to the side. And now it's time to lift the plastic out of here and see which characters we have. Okay, so some of these look like accessory pieces. So I don't know if these are actually squinkies or if they're just like the hats for the squinkies. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Okay, so these are accessories for the Squinkies. We've got like little orange hair with glasses, little monster hat. So these are the do's. So these are Squinkies and these are do's. So it says, drop a do on your favorite squinky. So that's kind of cool. This is the first set that I've seen that comes with um, accessories where you can change them up. So this would be probably our first squinky. And this is May McPuff. Very small. We're gonna set May over there. And this is our next squinky. This is from the Arctic Island collection. His name is Lil Humphrey. Welcome Lil Humphrey. And this guy here is a little caterpillar from the Gardenia collection. This is Squiggy Pillar. He's pretty tiny, but he's pretty cute. This is another one from Squinky C. Um, our little May McPuff was from Squinky C. And this one is Toothy White. See his big white smile? This one here is from the Squinky Valley Acres collection. It is Hallie Hay, and she's just a little hay bale. I'm gonna set, pull these guys back a little bit so you can see them better. There you go. And let's see, who else do we have? 
<laughs> Got this little guy who looks like a puppy. Let's see. Oh, this one is from the Far Away Forest collection, and this is Benji Brush. See his little white tail? He's cute. So I'm getting a good um, introduction. I've got several from different collections here. This one looks like a little penguin or something, or a little bird. This is from Arctic Island, Hootsie Hoo. I think this one's my favorite so far. Hootsie Hoo. And we've got one that looks like a kitty cat here. Let's see who this would be. Ooh, this one is Queen Leona from the Jungle Oasis collection. A couple more. This one is from the Squinky C collection. This is Baleen Bell. And so far, all of them that I've had are common. I don't see any that are classified as rare or ultra rare. I'll let you know if I do though. Now this looks like a little explorer person. And it looks like each collection has a little person that goes with it. This here is Sadie Safari, and it's the little gal from the Jungle Oasis collection. Isn't she cute? Okay, so those are all the squinkies that I had in my collection other than the blind boxes. Now they come with a little tent here, which is kind of a cute little accessory. And then of course you have their hats. Now, the best part is if you look, the back of their heads have a little notch and the hats have a notch. So you can fit them together. And now my squinky has a dew on it. Isn't that cute? And you can fit them to any of them because every squinky has a little notch in the back for doing that. Now, we have two mystery squinkies in these bags. Let's see who we have in bag number one. Oof. Ooh, that one's pretty. This is a rare one called Zelly Zebra. It's my first rare squinky. And then we have one more blind bag. And this one looks like a little turtle. And this is Tortuga Tim, who is a common squinky. Now, what I just realized as well is that all the do's have names as well. If you look here. So your squinkies have names and so do your do's. So this is uh, my monster do, my hipsta do, and Hollywood do. And then my little hat was fedora do, I think. That doesn't look like a fedora though. Sunday do, so it's a little Sunday hat. And like I said, they fit on everybody. I can put one on our little purple whale here. Fits right in the notch on the back. And now she's Hollywood ready. <laughs> so guys, I know collectibles like Shopkins and the Grocery Gang have gotten a lot of hype and that toy trend is not projected to slow down anytime soon. Kids really like these collectibles. They're adorable. They're rather affordable to do and it really is great for social activities like trading and things like that. I think the Squinky Doos drops are going to be right up there with the Shopkins and the Grocery Gang. They're fairly new on the collectible scene. Um, they were recently trending on Toys R Us, so they might be coming up and something that your kid will be asking about soon. I like this set because 
They're very cute, very much like Shopkins. They're kind of animal based, which I kind of preferred when I was a kid. But the best part is you not only get the squinkies, but the dews are also collectible, which are the hats and the hair and all those accessories. It reminds me of um, num noms and how it was like, you could have a num on your nom and all that stuff. So these are very cool. They're very gonna, uh, very much with that trend of collectibles and cute and trading, all that stuff. So I give these guys th two thumbs up. I really liked them. I can't say that they were better or worse than Shopkins, but they are on the same line. So guys, if you want to be here for the top 2017 trends, all the things that are trending online and projected to be the biggest sellers of 2017, I am keeping up on all of that personally. So you have to make sure you're subscribed here and checking us out at toynotes.com. I'm going to be getting my hands on all these trends, testing them out for you and letting you know whether or not they're worth your money. So guys, until next time, bye.